Adam's awake and clearly ready to get up. Dada. Mama. Good morning. Every morning you talk about Sophia and something on your dresser, on your nightstand. Good morning. Good morning. What are you talking about over there? What is it? Uh, Mommy, who put this there with a plate? Oh, it's to hang jewelry. Oh. I just put it there. Are you talking about the camera? Oh, oh there, Mom. Say hi. <laughs> oh, there, baby. Oh, you see a baby in your picture frame, huh? And it you got, see a baby? It got all toys, Adam. It has. It has. Uh, toys. You ready to get up? Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Hey guys, good afternoon. I just woke up from hey, nap. a nap. <laughs> Is mama sleeping on the couch? Yeah, I fell asleep on the couch. Mm -hmm. um, not proud of it, but I, if you didn't hear me talking about my food options yesterday, I started back on keto just to jumpstart my weight loss again. Um, now that I've been working out a lot more, uh, I haven't, I've been losing very, very little, like every single week. If you watch my weight loss Monday update, then you know what I'm talking about. But I, I've been losing just very, very teeny tiny amounts. And I feel like for the amount that I've been working out and Mo you know motivating myself and stuff I it's just very discouraging to see little tiny amounts so I was like you know what I'm gonna try low carb especially since I know we're going to go to Disney and it's going to be very hard to stay strictly keto we've planned out meals we have snacks prepared and all these things so I'm going to try and eat as sensibly as I can but I know it's going to be difficult in an environment like that and on vacation so I was like I think I'm gonna try and jump start my weight loss a little bit and go to keto well when I did low carb in January I was exhausted back and forth all the time but that's because I was doing low carb and not strict keto so this time I'm trying strict keto and doing you know 5% of my macros and carbs type thing and I'm exhausted, <laughs> which is how it how it was before. I know once I get over these few days of a hurdle, like I've been, I've stayed with a constant headache from the sugar withdrawals, the carb withdrawals. You know, I know once I get over the initial bit of it, I'll feel good. But I started it yesterday, so that by the time I get to the weekend and I get to my busy phase, or even to Thursday, I'm starting to have more energy. And I mean, I slept fine last night. I went to bed fairly early and I wake up I woke up at a fairly decent time I feel like I got enough sleep I just am exhausted and my head it is really it's bothering me so yeah I'm preparing some lunch we're going to do Maddie requested the edamame spaghetti so I'm browning up some turkey I had chicken salad for breakfast <laughs> because I did not feel like eggs so I'm gonna have some of this with some pesto sauce and um Maybe some peanuts. I don't know. It, it, that's another thing is I'm trying not to grocery shop before we leave for Disney just because I we don't need the food. Like I know I know we need to clear everything out before we leave. So I'm having to do keto on a weird non-keto fridge. <laughs> so I don't know. I was thinking about just doing it for the week, seeing how it goes. I, We'll see. I don't know. But it's making me absolutely exhausted. So I fell asleep for about 30 minutes on the couch. Maddie was very nice and just sat next to me and watched TV. Autumn's mm -hmm. napping. And that's about all we've done today. The house is not dirty, which is great. I just have crafts and stuff to do um, and videos to edit like I was talking about yesterday. But that's about it. So now that I've napped, maybe I can regain some of my energy, eat something, and get some stuff done. We're in carpool line. It's a little last minute, but actually I don't know if it's because we're edging up on the end of the school year or what, but the line was fine. Well, the last several, like, week maybe, I was going to say the last several days, but maybe like the last week, 
getting here has been hard because of the way Autumn's nap schedule has been set up. She typically sleeps anywhere between two and three hours and she just takes one nap. So I put her down around noon and I try, I have been trying to get her more of into a routine of like playing, no TV, like they don't, I haven't had the TV on all morning except when Maddie was watching it while I was napping on the couch. That was more for convenience. But getting her to play more, to interact more, to, to get more energy out so that she can sleep longer. And until, it'll work a lot better when summer comes, but right now, she's been sleeping pretty close to three hours. Like, I literally woke, walked into her room two minutes before I was supposed to leave the house to go get Emmy, and I had to just grab her and go, because if not, I mean, I have to wake her up, and she's at the point now where if I pick her up, it wakes her up. I can't just put her in the car still asleep or anything like that. So once summer comes, I think the scheduling will be a little bit either harder or better because in the summer we'll be doing more things. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I plan on going swimming a lot. I got the library schedule. I'm going to try and work really, really hard and have a fantastic summer of doing stuff instead of just staying at home and watching TV and blowing the summer. I'm going to try. We'll see. It should be easier this summer than it was last summer to haul everybody around because Autumn can walk now. So, yeah. Anyway, we're in carpool line to get Emmy. You like the smoothie, Mama? Autumn's never had a smoothie. And I was watching um, my friend Talia's vlog, and she gives her daughters the naked smoothies. And I've been making Emmy frozen fruit with almond milk smoothies every day after school for a snack because it's way more filling and not as junky. So I've just been using the three blend Costco organic fruit with um, like about a cup of almond milk and she loves it, scarfs it down. I put a little bit of frozen banana in it this time. So I did half, half a thing of the smoothie and half water for Autumn. She seems to like it. Maddie's not a huge fan of the smoothies, probably because it has almond milk, but. Or just a little. Just a yeah, Maddie doesn't really bit. like them. Just a little but Autumn bit. seems to like them. I'm just a little Thanks bit for the inspiration, Talia. Yeah, they're yummy. Yeah, they are good. I think they're good with almond milk, but they do lack some sweetness, especially with the frozen fruit. I think they're best with the almond milk. Yeah, Let's so. This gummy. At least we're using it up because we had that frozen fruit in there for a long time and it needed to go, so using it up for snacks. <laughs> This totally may not be a hack for anybody. Maybe everyone does this and I was like late to the party, but I, for the longest time, we buy these big, the scotch Bright heavy duty scrub pads from Costco. You get 21 in here. I don't know how much they are because to be honest, we've had this pack for uh, maybe like three years. I don't know, maybe a little less, um, but what I do is instead of for a long time, like I said, we would buy like the three pack at Walmart, you know, for a couple of dollars or whatever. And we would go through three of them in like a month or two, you know, and they, I feel like it would kind of be part of our household budget type thing. So what I started to do when we got these from Costco, first off, you get 21 of them, so there's quite a lot. Even if you bought these regularly and you use the full size and you use it frequently, it would last you a long time. But I cut them in half because realistically, when I was grabbing and washing dishes with these, I would kind of go like this to wash anyway. So I was like, why am I wasting an entire pad? The middle would be all scrubbed out and the ends would be perfectly fine. And I'm like, why am I wasting an entire pad? So I started cutting them in half straight from in here. That's first off. Second, I learned somewhere, I think I saw it on a Facebook post or something, to sanitize these things because you know, you can ring them and ring them and ring them and no matter what you do, they still end up smelling and whatever. So sanitize them every couple of days or maybe I guess you could do it frequent, more frequently than that. Um, but you soak it with some uh, hot, sop hot soapy water or you could put vinegar in it 
you stick it in the microwave for, I think it said 30 seconds or a minute or something. I, I tend to do mine until it's so hot I can barely touch it, which is usually around two minutes. Um, but I guess you can do it longer than that to kill all the antibacterial. And look how long this one has lasted. Probably a lot longer than it should. Now it's time for the trash, this one too. So I'm getting a new one. But I can make one of these last without smelling, with killing the bacteria on it, probably close to a month. I don't know that that's how long you're supposed to have them. We only really wash, hand wash our pots and pans with these. Everything else goes in our dishwasher. Like literally everything else goes in the dishwasher. We hand wash like the Ninja. Nope, is that, that's a Vitamix, not a Ninja. Our pots and pans because they're new, er, and I, so we hand wash those and bottles and then our, our good knife set. Everything else goes in the dishwasher. Everything else. So I don't use it very frequently and when Andres does dishes he doesn't use it very frequently either. I switch from side to side and then like I said I, I sanitize it every few days and we can get it to last a long time. Andres is worse about throwing them out. He will use the same one forever and finally when I am like okay that's disgusting it's time to go we'll get a new one. So I don't know a little tip and trick from me to you, and that's how I've made this last so long. You can get these couponing too if you get them just from Walmart, um, but I find buying them in bulk helps you stock up on them. And then if I if it's on the way out, kind of like a toothbrush, you know, if it's on if I don't know you were sick or whatever, I will toss that toothbrush into scrub toilets or scrub little around the sink or whatever. Um, same thing with this. If I notice it's starting to get gross, dingy, whatever, I can't get the smell bacteria out of it, I will toss it in to do a once over scrub on a uh, bathroom or something. So, you guys have any tips and tricks to prolong your scrub sponges? Let me know in the comments below. Say it's bath time, guys. Bath time, bath time. Bath time, bath time. You ready to go night night? Uh, was that a good bath? Say it was fun. I got to play. I'm not afraid of the bath anymore. So this is the little area that I switched. Remember I showed you I had that white thing that's now on her nightstand that had, oh careful, that had bows, uh, newborn bows, or like toddler bows. Not, no, infant bows I should say. <laughs> like little baby, you know. Um, and then the, I had the basket back here with bows. This was in their bathroom, but it had all her stuff in it. So I have little clips. The big girls use these as well, mostly. Well, no, they both use them, but it's in Autumn's room. These little bows were, some of them were Emmys when she was little. Like I clearly have this one in her hair one Easter, you know. Like some of these were, uh, hold on. Not Autumn's, Emmy's. You, here, you hold that for Mommy, okay? Ooh, Thank wow. you. Um, so some of these were Emmy's, and then when we had Maddie, we got a couple more for Maddie, but mostly Emmy's. She, we put these little bows in her hair pretty much every single time I did her hair when she was smaller. Now she's a headband girl, but I used these for Maddie a little bit when she was like Autumn's age, and then we kept them for Autumn. And then these, oh my gosh, we, I used to put these in Emmy's hair all the time, all the time. Um, little butterfly clips, I would put them on her braids and stuff. She really liked those. So I kept them, but I didn't really use them too, too much for Maddie's hair. These little clips, oh, I used to use them all the time in Emmy's hair. So I kept all of that, and then I got this thing from Target, and it has little hair ties. So the hair ties that I don't even remember. I think we got them in a kit for Emmy's hair and they were just way too small for her hair. Um, for the most part, we I use, no not for the most part, I always use the big hair ties on Emmy, like ones that I use for my hair. Sometimes even the biggest ones. So all the little hair ties I have in here for Autumn. And, the, and I also have some rubber ones downstairs but those tend to pull her hair so I upgraded her to this little area now I just need her brush and like a little spray bottle in here but this is her bracelet oh Autumn what did you do to it this was the bracelet we got from <laughs> Cozumel she just bent it we'll keep that up here okay Autumn say good night see you tomorrow Autumn Adam, good night. See you tomorrow.
You learn one thing and then you forget it. Say good night. See you tomorrow. I'm trying to see what they're doing over there. I know. Okay. Good night. I love you. Night night. Night night. Night night. Say night night. Night night. Night night. Night night. Say night night. Say night night. Night night. Good job, Mama. Night night. 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 Good night. See you tomorrow. I know my hair is looking haggard. I just got done editing. It's 9.45. I edited the vlog for tonight and I uploaded my Costco haul because I didn't want to wait till tomorrow. I have my um, weight loss Monday video that'll be on a Wednesday to upload tomorrow. And um, I want to start editing for the weekend. I have Etsy orders to do. I have a trainer appointment in the morning. I'm meeting with a seamstress in the afternoon to drop off my fanny pack with my mini pa patch and Emmy's Girl Scout vest with all her patches. Probably should take a sewing class. Maybe that'll be something I'll pick up over the summer. I have no idea how to work. We don't own a regular sewing machine and she has way too many patches for me to hand sew them. And I tried iron ironing them on and using liquid no stitch or liquid stitch or whatever. The iron-ons didn't stay. They started peeling up on the side. She actually lost, lost one of her patches and the uh, liquid stitch did not work as well. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. Same thing. I tried to iron on my uh, patch onto my fanny pack and it didn't work. And so it is what it is. I'm going to hire some, the lady that I, I got from the next door app. I posted on there that I was in, in need of a seamstress and I called her. She was like, oh, it'll be a five, six dollars. I was like, works for me totally worth it <laughs> so i'm gonna drop that stuff off to her tomorrow right before i get emmy for school and then come home and figure out uh dinner and everything and that'll be the end of tomorrow but i went ahead and wrote down so originally i was going to buy a disney planner book because apparently they have really nice planner pages that you can buy off of um Etsy and it's only like 15 or 16 dollars and maybe if I feel like I needed to plan this much in the future I would invest in it because of course you buy it once and you print it off as many times as you want but for right now I've made really well do that's not I've made do with this Erin Condren notebook I have so many notebooks planners um to-do list like everything I have so much stuff that I was like why waste $16 on one more thing so this is one of the ones that came this is an on the go take take note classic line notebook the college ruled one and it actually came I believe in a some sort of surprise box I want to say it's a little bit thinner than the other ones I have a lavender a magenta and a teal colored one dot ones I think this is a lined one as well dot whatever so i had this one and i was like well i started um my disney stuff in it like how our disney trip how much everything was um and then i also put in here how much our character dining is which is insane and then i started my clothes packing list for the girls so i have a list for each of them here and then i went ahead and did our meal plan in here which takes up three pages so I did that and I uh, labeled it by the day, what we're doing. So we're traveling to breakfast, lunch, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, which is not necessarily the case. I mean, even when we're home, we don't always have two snacks plus three meals, but I figure we're going to be out and about. We may not even eat as much as normal just because when usually when you're in the heat, I feel like you don't eat as much, but I'm planning it out as if we're going to be ravenous because I know when the girls start walking around, like just for instance, when we're at Six Flags or SeaWorld, they get hungry really fast when we're walking around and things like that. So I planned out um, most, I think we're just doing two out of the 12 days, two breakfasts at the park. The rest of them are at the hotel. Most snacks I'm bringing, that's not to say that we won't do snacks at um, the park just you know for to taste them I guess most dinners are at home we only have I think one I think maybe two dinners at the park 
and one dinner out. It just kind of depends on how the days go. It's very tentative. I mean, I wrote it like for sure we have lunch plans at a bunch of different places. I wrote that stuff. Most of the time the snacks I'm bringing from, that was the whole point of packing the extra suitcase with snacks to bring from here and different things. So I wrote out that and this has worked very well and I've just been using, um, um, well, I've been using this it's like a paper mate pen that I got from work, but the, what is this pen? Paper mate ink joy gel, the 0.7, and it writes in there nicely. So honestly, I'll probably take this book with me and carry it in on my carry on bag just to remember like outfits and menu planning. And I'll probably jot notes as I'm in there because I plan on when I get back filming videos as far as what works for us packing wise planning wise um i read i'm a part of the mom's planning disney facebook group and i read reviews of their day their trips all the time things that were great to bring things that weren't necessary things that worked for them that didn't work for them and so because i do youtube i was like that would be a great video to film also maybe some tips and tricks of traveling on a budget with children to disney just different things so i'm definitely going to bring this book with the pen probably not in the park with me because it's just one more thing i have to keep track of um but for sure in the room that way at the end of the day i can be like okay today we were at magic kingdom and this this and this really worked for us and i can write tips and notes and different things in here so that when i come back and film the video it'll be easier for me i meant to do that when we went on the cruise and it just got so hectic because it was hurricane season so our cruise experience was not the same as somebody else's cruise experience and we had to plan way differently like everything was different about it because i planned on filming i did a lot of research before we went on the cruise last year and i had planned on coming back to film like best tips to travel with children on a cruise type thing and i just like i said didn't get around to it because we were stuck on the cruise for 13 days when it was supposed to be five days because of hurricane harvey so this year i pl definitely plan on doing several disney videos um just to i have been watching the family fudge i believe jennifer from the family fudge so many of you guys recommended her and i love her channel she's awesome her voice is very calming very soothing she's one of those type of parents that's like i don't know what her girl's names are um i think she has a boy too or maybe a girl and two boys yeah i think she has an older girl and two boys um but she probably talks to her children very mellow <laughs> she's not like me screaming at everyone you know tyrant type parent um which i admire about her and that's that's awesome she has a lot of good tips and tricks the biggest thing though is that they live in california and they go to disneyland which i feel like is totally like on a total different spectrum than disney world because the fast pass system works differently over there they do have an app but you're not solely reliant on the app things are totally different like when we went in 2015 to california we did three days at disney and magic kingdom no disneyland and california adventure and we didn't have to plan a single thing literally i planned i didn't buy nothing and over there you don't see as many people planning so much in advance um wearing so many i mean i guess you do see it a lot but i feel like disney world is way different i don't know maybe it's just me maybe i wasn't paying attention to that stuff back then but i didn't plan anything you guys go back and watch those vlogs we're not matching we're not coordinating i didn't bring anything we had to go the first day and learn our lesson to even bring food into the park the second and water it the second and third day i didn't plan a single thing i feel like disney world you can do that but it's such a highly populated place that if you don't you're gonna you can still do things but you're not going to maximize your time going to be waiting in line a lot longer for rides and different things like that so that is different but her disney tips in general are great so thank you guys to whoever recommended her a bunch of you actually recommended her i really appreciate it so anyway i've been spending time doing this i was also on the phone with disney i upgraded my pass to an annual pass to get the um i had already purchased the memory maker so the difference between my seven day pass plus the memory maker and an annual pass was $293.21. In that, you get free parking, which for us, we are renting a minivan, so cool. Um, 
it would be for seven days, it's $22 per day. So it's $154 for the trip. So the difference of that is like $139 in food and merchandise that we would get discounted. And every single restaurant that we have booked is 10% off. Plus most of the snacks and everything is 10% off. Um, so that's one reason why I wrote out all of our dining, how much everything was going to be. And just on dining alone, we were going to save $130, I believe, is what I calculated. Or maybe it's a little less, maybe it's 110 I don't know. It was somewhere around there, which shows you how much our dining is. But we're doing all um, character breakfasts and um, character meals. So it is expensive for us. But that alone saves it. And then any merchandise most merchandise is 20 percent off so we're for sure going, going to buy some souvenirs while we're over there so i thought it was definitely worth it and then if we happen to go back to disney probably won't this year but anytime next year up through june 10th or june 11th when i activate it um which we are kind of maybe thinking we'll do a spring even though the weather's been kind of crazy over there maybe a spring trip one less ticket we have to pay for so anyway pros and cons you know you weigh it so that's that's what i've been doing literally i was transferring over my meal plan i was on the phone with disney and editing two videos so hopefully you guys checked out that costco haul uh, let me know what you thought that'll be the last costco haul that i have probably the last grocery haul that i have for you guys until we get back in the end of june so a month so I hope you enjoyed it <laughs> because we don't even get back till the 21st and more than likely I won't go grocery shopping that day that we get back probably the next day or maybe even a few days after that so yeah we're certainly on the eat everything in the house before we leave on vacation we only have 19 days is it 19 or is it 18 I have a an app of course there's an app for everything a Disney countdown I think I've showed you guys this 19 days 19 days and counting and it's just called the countdown app another thing I wanted to ask you guys you guys had such awesome recommendations for my cold sore which is entirely gone it's completely like flat at this point but you can see it left a I guess I just wiped off a scab it's completely flat but you can see it kind of left a red bump and I'm hoping it just continues to heal and it doesn't scar over. That would be awful. But I've never had a cold sore this big or this bad before. We're almost at the two week mark. I got it Thursday. On this Thursday, it'll be two weeks. I've never ever had a cold sore that bad. So now, like I said, I'm hoping this continues to heal. But do you guys have any recommendations? I was thinking vitamin E oil and if that's the case, I need to go get some. Um, what do you use on already healed online it just says use vaseline or aquaphor or something like that like don't continue to use medicated treatments so i don't know i have vaseline i don't have any aquaphor though maybe i need to get that but let me know in the comments below what you guys would suggest to just heal it because as long as it's healed before we go so that i don't have to look at it for years to come in pictures i'm totally cool it can hang out there all it wants for the next 19 days but it better be gone by the time i have to take a zillion disney pictures i don't want to have to look at this thing so anyway and then i don't want to have to worry about it burnt like sun being sunburn or anything like that i just hope it continues to heal so if you guys have suggestions let me know in the comments below i'm already taking lysine a thousand milligrams a day and i'm going to continue out the bottle that i have to make sure i don't have a recurrent one so I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go lay down. I finished Californication, which I was kind of like, eh. I don't know how I feel about the very last episode. I feel like they abruptly ended everything. Uh, I feel like they could have gone on another season with the relationship with Hank and uh, Levon and the daughter and the wedding and th those types of things. But, I mean, it is what it is. It ended. It was a really great show. I liked it. Um, so yeah, now I think I'm gonna watch the second season of 13 Reasons Why and then I, I seriously don't know I'm hoping by the time I'm done with 13 Reasons Why Wentworth has come out or Orange is the New Black or Something has come out so where I can continue to watch because <laughs> I'm running out of shows and I keep Getting like suggest I, I want to also watch how to get away with murder, but I keep getting suggestions You know, they say oh, it's 99% this is a match based on you watching something like this but because my shows are all over the place some of the shows i recommend i'm like 
I don't know if that would be for me or not. So anyway, show recommendations, leave those also down below. Lots of things to answer in this vlog today. So if you've made it this far into my 15 minute chit chat, leave an emoji. What emoji can we do? Um, how about the castle emoji? the castle emoji leave it in the comments below if you've made it this far because then i know you're true fans but anyway i'm going to go to bed it's now 10 p.m <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed we'll see you tomorrow